Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sister Malika here, aka Hidden Curls, coming to you with another video. So today, guys, I wanted to come on here real quick and give you some tips on keeping that color treated hair moisturized. The first thing you need to do is lay off the heat. If you're applying heat to the hair, don't do it. Don't do it. That can be a disaster. That can lead to breakage. Now, I'm not talking about just sitting underneath the dryer, okay? I'm talking about if you decide you want to get some silk presses and you keep silk pressing and silk pressing and flat ironing and throwing those curls in there, not a good thing. Also, the protective styles, no, no, no. No protective styles, not unless you're going to put that style in and take it out immediately, like that week. You know, protective style is good, but maybe just for a couple of days because you need access to that hair because you want to keep shampooing and conditioning, okay? Shampoo, condition, some deep condition. If, if, you, if you feel like your hair is really dry, then do that deep conditioning treatment. Also, stay away from shampoos that are stripping to the hair. So you want to shampoo, condition, deep condition if necessary, but be careful of the shampoos that you use because some shampoos can be very stripping and very harsh to color treated hair. So if you're using a shampoo and you can pretty much tell if your hair is drying out, switch shampoos. Don't keep using that shampoo because just because it worked and the shampoo was great when before your hair was colored, it might not be, you know, it might not work for you since you have your hair colored. So you want to stay away from it. Keep an eye on your hair. Make sure you keep your ends clipped. Keeping your ends clipped is very important. Visit that stylist on a regular. Go to that stylist once every three months. And for my sisters out there who are doing your, your color treatments at home, you're dyeing your own hair at home. Look, I mean, which is fine. I mean, I don't do it personally anymore, but it's fine to do that. But when you are doing your touch up, make sure you just stick to the root. Now I'm going to say this. If you guys aren't up for the challenge of taking care of this color treated hair, and I mean, when I say taking care of it, shampoo, conditioning, shampoo and conditioning, keeping that hair conditioned and moisturized on a weekly not monthly but weekly so that's my tips for uh color treated hair that's what i've been doing my hair is doing great i don't use any clarifying shampoos now i let my stylist do that she told me since she colored my hair my hair is already stripped so she don't want it stripped anymore so don't touch the clarifying shampoo when i'm at home now I, once i get to her then she might clarify but me myself personally I don't do it. I'm going to follow doctor's orders. Should I say she's the hair doctor, right? So I'm going to follow those orders and do what I'm supposed to do with this color treated hair. And I hope you guys do the same. Hey, I mean, trust me, your hair will flourish as well if you just do what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? At least a little bit more nurturing than the regular hair, than the uncolored hair. Okay, trust me. All right, guys, until the next time, peace.